A patch for the keyboard and mouse to hopefully improve the handling. Did it actually work? Well, I played a bunch. I'll let you guys know in this video and a huge playlist quality of life improvement for you guys as well. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update when it comes to Halo Reach on the MCC. If you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on these changes as well. If you saw any improvement with the mouse and keyboard, uh, let me know in the comment section down below because I certainly have my opinions. I'll let you guys know later on in this video. And if you're new to the channel, stay so updated with anything going on in the Halo community. Make sure you tap subscribe guys to keep yourselves up to date with all the news and awesomeness going on. So recently Recently, there was a patch that happened on the, the MCC version of Halo Reach, and uh, it was a pretty significant patch. You know, they call it like a small tuning little fix kind of thing, but this actually was not, you know, they didn't really change a whole lot with the game minus the mouse and keyboard settings. It was a huge quality of life improvement, a lot of reorganization with brought in some new maps, map playlist rotation reset as well, so you guys can have some more maps that you get the chance to play, uh, weighted some map types and different things a little differently. So go, before we go any further guys, let's just jump right into the big kahuna here, the big tuna when it comes to this update, and that is the mouse and keyboard keyboard patch. I'm going to read it what they said right here. So address a mechanic for the mouse and keyboard players, which improves precision of aiming when taking damage. As part of our ongoing work to assess players feedback across keyboard and mouse inputs, the team discovered a legacy mechanic from the original game that was contributing to a negative sentiment regarding the feel and responsiveness of mouse and keyboard. We have adjusted this mechanic and are interested in what the community thinks of this change. The team will continue to monitor the feedback around controller versus mouse and keyboard. Now hearing this, it sounds like, well, there's some legacy code that they found kind of, you know, dug in deep and they fixed it and they changed it up a little bit. So I had to jump in today and I did stream quite a bit of Halo Reach on uh, MCC. Just jumped in, played mouse and keyboard, some social slayer. Uh, link, link to my Twitch is in the description down below, guys, if you want to check it out. I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, so I got a chance to actually get around and play this quite a bit and for the most part I would actually say that mouse and keyboard feels pretty dang good the that ivory tower game You're seeing is the first game I played and I went 21 and 6 I mean, like, Granted I did use some good amount of power weapon usage on that But there was some solid tracking shots when it comes to using mouse and keyboard, which is a big issue when it comes to uh, that input device when it comes to playing on PC and for me right now, it's feeling pretty good uh, there are times where I was missing shots and I couldn't really tell if it was necessarily me just being a little rusty on the mouse and keyboard or just me not being good enough or something like that or was it maybe some issues when it comes to using mouse and keyboard. Um, I couldn't really tell but for the most part I felt like I was doing pretty well using uh, the input device right there. So uh, definitely if you guys have uh, thrown away your throw away your keyboard and mouse for a controller in reach, give it a second try guys. I think you might find yourself kind of surprised at how it feels. Uh, so yeah, I felt that this, uh, I was playing it all last night, felt pretty good. I don't feel confident enough to jump in to play competitive in ranks and stuff like that. Uh, just because I think I need more time and practice with it to hit like crucial shots. But for right now, I'm thinking it feels pretty good. So if I want to give it a go. So let's jump into some of these uh, playlist updates that came to Reach as well. Uh, again, it might sound kind of minor and small that they're changing, but this is directly affecting your experience playing Reach on the MCC. So they uh, removed some apps. They uh, weighted some apps differently, so we'll just kind of start from the bottom and get to the top here. So, Social 2v2, they removed Solitary and added Synapse into the mix right there. Social 4v4 for Slayer added Think Twice, which is a for Forge World map. For Asset Denial, they removed Oddball on Solitary. And then they made various weighting adjustments. Players will spend a bit less time on Anniversary maps and a bit more on vanilla and classic forge maps now i like i said uh i did get a chance to play uh high noon which is like the hang em high remake and i did play the prisoner remake as well so they're not like buried away where you can't find them so you still be able to get your fair share of game modes in there 
Uh, I did feel like I was playing a, a good mix of Forge and uh, vanilla maps as well. So uh, just a really nice variety. Nothing seemed like I was playing the same thing over and over again. I actually got a chance to play it in Caged, which was the first time I've had a pl chance to play it since the release, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, so now we have a big team battle switch up here. So for Slayer, they added the default variants of Boneyard and Spire, the updated variants of Scrapyard and Spear Broken. We'll see additional playtesting and refinement before re-entering the core map pool. So it took out the, the BTB variants to hopefully test it out a little bit, make it a little bit better for you guys right there. Slayer version, they added the classic Forge World variants, uh, Delta, Facility, and Wayons. I guess is how you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, Slayer variation, they added Forge World variants of Brick and Hive Mind. And then for Slayer variants, they removed Paradiso as well. Flag and Bomb variants, they replaced Neutral Bomb Assault with Multi Bomb Assault on Tempest, Highlands, and Hemorrhage, which is the four, which is like the uh, the Blood Gulch remake. Uh, this will reduce the number of matches which end in stalemates. That's always very good. Uh, I'm sure Modern Warfare could definitely take a, uh, <laughs> a tip from uh, ending games in time limit. <laughs> uh, flag and Bomb added multi-flag CTF at, on Brick and Hive Mine. Zone Control, which is like territories, removed for, on Breakpoint and High Noon. Uh, for Action Sack, they fixed an issue where players could spawn out of bounds on Spear Broken, which is a Spire uh, modified version and re-enabled it for Elite Slayer. And they say they also returned waiting to better balance DLC and vanilla maps as well. Now, I haven't dug a whole lot into BTB since the release. I've been really digging in a lot to uh, Hardcore and the Social, social Slayer. Uh, so uh, it does seem like Highlands comes up quite often in BTB. So hopefully we get a nice little, little better variety, which I think is kind of the general theme of this playlist update. It's a gift players more of what they want and more variety so which is very very good to hear and for you sweats out there halo reach hardcore got a pretty big uh playlist change here so returns waiting based on uh player feedback previously map each map and each game mode uh combined was equally weighted so everything that was available all across the board was evenly weighted they went back and changed that weighting quite a bit so now zealot and Sanctuary CTF hold a very high weight countdown and pit CTF zealot and Sanctuary Slayer along with Nexus King of the Hill hold a high weight where then you have countdown and Battle Canyon Slayer hold a medium weight Battle Canyon King of the Hill low weight penance Slayer low holds very low weight thank god so i guess i'm not looking to remove penance completely right now at the moment uh, a lot of people are kind of asking for that but at least now it's gonna be a very very low weight so then hopefully you don't come across it as much as we did previously so hopefully that's the case when it comes to that because uh penance is uh for slayer not that great yeah actually not that good but uh, i'm really glad to see they're really focusing on like really the core uh, modes when it comes to reach like Zealot and Sanctuary CTF you gotta know how to play those if you're gonna try to play competitive uh, same thing with like Countdown the Pit as well as Zealot Sanctuary Slayer also and uh, get a chance to get play more Nexus King of the Hill which I've only played a little bit of but I haven't had a chance to play a whole lot of I'm kind of sad to see Battle Canyon King of the Hill get such a low weight because I actually kind of like that mode quite a bit I didn't I don't really like Battle Canyon for Slayer but when it comes to King of the Hill I think it actually plays out rather well uh, with, with just like the three hills and then uh, I think it just kind of helps kind of focus the gameplay a little bit better especially having that uh, port in the back of each base uh, it just kind of makes things a little bit more random especially during Slayer when you're playing King of the Hill you can at least kind of expect the, a better flow happening uh, when it comes to player movement compared to just like automatically coming across you know flying across the map whenever but uh, yeah so anyways guys that's kind of like the entire update we have for you guys when it comes to halo reach so uh, my experience with mouse and keyboard since this update i'm actually really enjoying it i think i might actually kind of grind this out a little bit more and try to get better at it uh i feel like the only thing i'm maybe not so great at is sniping when it comes to using mouse and keyboard but like uh pretty much everything else i feel like i'm like right on par pretty much with a controller already and so i'm pretty excited about that uh, i'll definitely give you guys a uh 
you know, comparison kind of thing uh, video coming up later as well when it comes to that. And also we got some more content coming for you guys in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure to tap that like button. Listen, so you know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you thought about in the video down below. Leave it subscribe for more Halo Reach and Halo Awesomeness. Check out the videos on the screen right now if you miss any content for me. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.